Uh, so we're here at Geelong Harley and I've just been having a chat with Kyle. He's gone out the back to see if he can find a helmet for the baby. I don't think we've got enough zip ties, but she's got a big head. You should make, you should make it one of them for Danny. Oh yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to the beautiful Lechuca once again, guys. Last year in the floods, apparently there was only eight houses that never got flooded. So this is today, guys, and uh, we head back to the boat. Nice, beautiful old building. She's an old town. Nice area, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. There we go, one Harley helmet. What do you reckon? Marvellous. From Colin at Geelong, Harley David. So this is us guys, this is just about the end of our mainland trip in the boat. It is, yes. But anyway, we've had a great time, 30, 30, 31 days on the road, whatever. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard at night. Go play on repeat, watching people on the street as I go by. And it doesn't even matter to me where I go. I just feel I need to take a ride. Got my coffee cup to go, and I'm gonna hit the road tonight. Now my wheels in motion and my So I've got my helmet on, I'm all geared up and um, it's a nice day at the moment with the sun shining and it's supposed to be like that all the way through to Geelong or somewhere. So mate, Q's here just setting up a camera and that and we will be off. So we'll catch you on the road guys. Young Kimmy pushing her big beast back aren't you babe? That's it. <laughs> What's it like out here in the real world, I guess? Friday, it's probably busy. <coughs> go, 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 go. I don't know which way we're going, but I'm just going to go this way at the moment. Say goodbye to the beautiful Echuca once again, guys. Echuca on a Friday morning, guys. You've got to love Echuca, don't you, babe? Well, yeah, it's just busy. Coming up to the weekend, though. And this ain't even the main, main, main street, is it? No. This is the old part. Yeah, they've left this part fairly unique, haven't they? Yeah, which is great. Absolutely yeah. fantastic, I reckon. So, guys, this is the little town of Rochester. Now, last year in the floods, apparently there was only eight houses that never got flooded. So this town was absolutely swamped. So the captain on our boat said, didn't she, babe? Yep. Yesterday. So could you imagine that? Fair dinkum, eh? A lot of these guys, apparently, uh, there's a lot of houses where they're still living in caravans in their yard because they haven't got them fixed or they're fighting the insurance company still. And apparently she's the worst one in this area to flood. It was the town. Must be a lot lower or something. Nestled on the banks of the Meander Campaspe River, Rochester stands as the gateway to the mighty Murray River region. The natural beauty of the town is intersected by water, is enchanted by Rochester's well-maintained parks and landscaping, providing the perfect atmosphere to slow down and enjoy life's simple pleasure. But in 2022, when the floods hit, about 98% of the community was flooded over the floorboards. So this is today, guys, and uh, we head back to the boat. Like you see, we're at a trooper this morning, and um, we're gonna head, head down through Castle Main Way, and then into Geelong. Sad day for us in the boat. Yeah, sad for us, probably happy for a lot of other people that know that we're coming back home. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, they're going to have to put up with us now. 
yeah. Back home. They think we're back at work, so uh, they'll, they'll be happy. Oh, no, my, my work will be happy that I'm back at work. <laughs> True. Oh, Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not, guys, I can be grumpy, can't I, babe? I'm not, I'm, I'm not happy all the time. <laughs> Most of the time, even when I'm grumpy, I'm happy actually sometimes, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah. It's never grumpy at home, though. What you see on camera is really hard, so. Yeah. That's the way we are at home, that's how I am, or both of us are at work, or I am at work. I just do the piss out of everyone and hope across the day goes quicker. <laughs> <laughs> Point and it make your life bloody miserable. Nah, well, life's hard enough as it is. Enjoy yourself, guys. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, stay happy, I reckon. As they say, here today, gone tomorrow. Welcome to the outskirts of Bendigo, guys. We're not stopping here. We're going through Castle Main Way down to Geelong, but we'll probably be stopping at Castle Main for something to eat, won't we, babe? Yeah, we will. Yep. Does that sound good to you? It's a brunch. Yes. We have been through Benigo before, haven't we? Yeah, really? quite a few times over the years. We'd rather go go around these bigger towns, won't we, babe? Yeah. It is a fairly pretty city, Benigo, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Nice, beautiful old building. She is an old yeah. town. Look at that beautiful aren't they? Bendigo can proudly boast that it has one of the finest collections of Victorian buildings of any inland city in Australia. The streets are literally awash with huge granite buildings and in the centre of the city a fountain dedicated to Queen Victoria's daughter-in-law Princess Alexandra sits in the main street. The Roman Catholic Cathedral is the largest cathedral in the state outside Melbourne and the best way to experience the city is to join the talking tram. The tram date back to the gold rich era of the 1890s. This is a hugely impressive city which if you want to do it justice requires two or three days of dedicated exploring. Say hello to Castle Main guys. Of course, that's where we are. We don't know where in Castle Main we are at the moment, but we're here, aren't we, babe? Yeah. I guess we're coming into the main part of the town. Yeah, sure we, we are. are. When you start smelling food, you'll know that uh, you're close by <laughs> somewhere to eat. Right, so, might hang a left here. So I don't know where the shopping centre is or anything. Castlemaine is a name which is probably familiar to most Australians, but even though it was a hugely important form of gold mining settlement, it does not have the same name recognition as Ballarat or Bendigo. Today, it is a city with a large number of fine heritage gold rush era buildings, wide streets, an impressive botanic garden, and an outstanding art gallery. It is an elegant and important rural centre. So we've left Castle Main. We had a bit of brunch there. And look at these beautiful roads out through this way, will you? At the moment we're going from Castle Main through to Darlesford Way. And then um, head down, well we are heading down slightly still, um, towards Geelong, making our way down there. Darlesford's only 13 k's away, so that sign says. Nice area, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. The mountains over there for the Yeah, world. they're nice. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow And the late summer sky is like a giant ember
So we're here at Geelong Harley and I've just been having a chat with Cole. He's gone out the back to see if he can find a helmet for the baby. Right, just all remember, this is the baby. She's just got to wear this old, old hat because she doesn't have a helmet. So we'll get back to you in a few minutes. I don't think we've got enough zip ties. Look, she's got a big head. You should make, you should make it look like Danny. Oh yeah, I'd love to do that. <laughs> Maybe we can hide it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Right. She's nice oh. and safe now. That is marvellous. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Colin. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> Are you happy with the helmet now? Yep. There we go. One Harley helmet. What do you reckon? Marvellous. From Colin at Geelong. Harley Davidson. He's doing a job, Oh, he's marvellous in the and day. When we get home, we'll put GHD across. Okay. Okay, so that's Geelong Harley Davidson where Cole made a helmet for the bride of Chucky. My God. <laughs> he even spent the time in trimming it, painting it and everything. So there you go, eh? He did a good job for Chucky. For Chucky. Bride of Chucky. <sighs> Nothing coming your way, babe? No. That was good of him. Yeah. <laughs> Take a bit of time. Yep. Up, up. I thought he might have put a, a sticker on the front of it. Yeah, I was thinking he might too. I said they should make one for Danny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder who that dude was come out. Don't know. <laughs> must have known him because he goes, oh, making her a helmet. <laughs> Colin's going to be a star, you know, all these people going there and filming him and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> He's a bit camera shy, I think, though. <laughs> that was funny. He goes, oh, I think it looks quite ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. First up, he's like, oh, I think that's a job for Simon Richardson. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, oh, wait on. I'll go and see if I can find something. <laughs> he thought it was a pretty good looking doll, though, didn't he? Uh, yeah. He must have For thought, 20 bucks. Yeah, for 20 bucks, it's all right, he said. Well done to that, mate. Yep. That's why I said we're getting it. Yep. Fucking cheap for that price. He was saving Rusty four or five hundred. Yeah, exactly. And now it's worth probably three hundred with um, Colin's helmet. Yeah, we spent one hundred and seven dollars in that shop. He made us a two dollar fucking helmet. Not even a two dollar helmet, babe. Uh, well, he did put the effort in. He painted it. Yeah. Well. There she is, guys. The spirit of Tasmania. How rough is it out there today, babe? Don't want to know. Since our entrance here, yeah. it is. It doesn't say that, though. Yeah, it is. So this is us, guys. This is just about the end of our mainland trip, isn't it, babe? It is, yes. No overtaking or passing. Oh, I'm not about to do that. Although the bride of Chuck is quite safe at the moment, she has a helmet. Don't look too bad out there at the moment, sweetie. Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's not the real ocean, though. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> oh. G'day, guys. That's it. It's the end of the trip in a boat. The end of the road. It's the end of the road for us. Mm -hmm. We are back on the Spirit of Tasmania tonight after how many days all up? 27. No, 30. it's 30, 31 days on the road mm -hmm. or something in mainland Australia. For all those that don't know, we live in Tasmania and Ireland. Which is still part of Australia. Some may, some may say it isn't. Yeah. But it is. Because we've got two heads, you see, down Tasmania, you see? Two heads. <laughs> Everyone kept saying, Rusty has a scar. Right there. <laughs> yeah, Rusty's got a scar right here, I think. But anyway, we've had a great time. 30, 30, 31 days on the road or whatever. We have made all these videos, hoping that you would like them. Like, comment, share and subscribe, mm -hmm. please. It helps the channel. And that's where we are. Facebook, 
YouTube, Instagram. That's us there, right there, isn't yeah. it, eh? Yeah. Some of you might have thought it was a bit boring. Some of you might have not have thought it was a bit boring. But it is just Kimmy Russ on the road, isn't it? And we're happy to do it every year because it's just fun, yeah. isn't it? We yeah. don't have to work. Yeah. Well, for four or five weeks, we don't have to work, do we? It's a bit of work, though, filming, isn't it? Oh, uh, you get a bit stressed. Anyway, we're going to leave you there, and um, we'll catch you on our next big adventure. Hope you... What you, what, what you, what are you doing? Oh, gee, the rusty scene it ain't go! No, but we hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what our next adventure would be. This... Um, this episode you're seeing now, the last episode, that's quite a few months down the track. Um, it does take a long time to end it. So anyway, guys, say goodbye to Kimmy because she's going there. She's going to bed. Bye. Right there. Right Bye there. Bed. In that bed. She's going to bed and if she starts snoring, God help her. Trust his bed. Yep. Yeah, separate beds going. You'd think we were at the sister's place, yes. wouldn't you? Hey, guys. Bye. See yous. Now my